Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here sitting at the start line of Trenton Bedone Hill Climb. So we're going to be shaking down my new off-season or special edition Supra for competitions and events that are going to be happening after the ESDA season. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all which are found in the description box below. Let's do it. gonna go full send here this is going to be a car that I use in off-season events separate from ESDA which there's gonna be a couple special events and things like that that I'm gonna be doing and driving in after the ESDA season so we're just trying to take this car down a little bit Get used to the turbo lag, because we're not in a V8 like my E36 is. Ooh, no, almost. But what better way to do this than on a really tight toge map? Oh, I don't. I think I've driven this track with a rally car before. Tight hairpins. A little grass love, little wall tap. We're okay. The Supra definitely a lot of fun to drive. I feel oh man, I thought that tightened up. track seems like it's got a lot of uh, small technical as well as nice and sweepy as well a lot of clutch kicks and handbrakes involved with this tight technical track hard to be flowy when you don't remember the track at all. That's gonna be hard. Oh, how did how was how did we not die? Oh, uh, if we would have stabbed that clutch a little bit sooner, we would have been okay. Tight city section. Oh, that's tightened up way quicker than I thought. No, oh, there's the first crash. Well, it was bound to happen. That's what happens when you uh, go to a track you, once again, don't know. In a car that's got a thousand some horsepower. On some tight technical roads that you've never driven before. So it's challenging in itself. rhythm of this car. This car does feel a lot different than my uh, E36 does and kind of trying to get used to the boost by gears. So that definitely tightens up. A lot of hairpins. Beautiful uh, cityscape there. Or cityscape mountainscape! the wall. I think I'm running low on tires already. One thing I keep forgetting to do on these long runs is turn my tire wear off because we should definitely be not running tire wear on these long hill runs because we're never going to make it on full tires. 
my pet in the back wall. You want a place to uh, really test throttle control? This place is definitely a... Uh... Oh, I thought we were going to make that. Nope. Mm, well, well, oh, geez. I think I've tried to drift this track before without dying, and I think I've died every time. I think this track has definitely beaten me every time I've tried this track. Definitely would make sense. This is a quite challenging track. Change of views a little bit. Ooh. A lot of left, a lot of right, and a lot of smoke. I remember where we are now, and I think this gets really tight now. Our hairpin up here, probably. Yep. Middle tires go round and round in this A90. Oh, I thought we were going to smack that rail. drop nothing major oh I locked up the brakes now we're in the deep dark woods section Giving this uh, R5 a run for its money. Oh my. Oh. oh we botched that hairpin. We got this though. I think we're going to try and finish this track and get to the summit of this aggressive track. That's a really long 30 brake grab. See, when I thought competitive drifting and trying to hit clipping points was hard, this is tiring on your arms, especially not knowing where you're going. Surprisingly, we have only had one bad crash with not knowing where I'm going. know if that was a fast section but oh that's a wall I mean the wall kind of popped us in so we didn't totally die it's just is so much ground oh yep mm -hmm. 
this is a challenging track. I'm going to try to find the link and leave it down in the description box below. I'd love to see you guys try and trip this track yourself because uh, this is a, definitely a difficult track. But if I knew the track, I probably would be a lot better with it. But there are so many turns and so many sections that there's no way to memorize this unless you drove this thing so many times. Oh, that wall protruded out, really? We were doing so good until that section, but you know, we just gotta try and get up to the top. Oh, <laughs> I think I may have cracked my finger there. This in all kinds of different views. Really aggressive downshifts on that one. Lord, it's terrifying. Do we make it? No. Oh, I thought that was the end. That's just a turn. I thought that was the end of the road. It definitely is not the end of the road. More hairpins. The gears is clicking into place. I vaguely remember seeing those little porta potties there before. Slowly coming back to me. We have a bunch of hair pins, and then we should be close to the end. Definitely need to do this downhill one time and throw this track in reverse. I need to brighten up the taillights a little bit. But I think <laughs> we're going to try and get to the top if you guys like this. You guys want to keep seeing more cars maybe against this track. Like I said, I'll try and leave the link down below so you guys can try this track out yourself. See if you guys can drift this track. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. I do appreciate all the support and you guys coming back for more videos. It's a really long track. You think you get a section where you can open up a little bit, and then it's just right to a hairpin. Once again, right to a hairpin. I feel like this track would be really fun on a grip car. See how fast you can make it up here without dying. section right to a hairpin again so i think that'll do it here for this episode here on a set of course uh, i don't know if we're ever gonna make it to the top of this course because this course is extremely long so if you guys like the supra and the look of it let me know as well always like thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm in the grass i'm evil rabbit I'll see you guys on the track.